just like swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> this is the definition of don't judge a book by its cover. I'm sexy. Again, bitch! Let me guess you want the sweet innocent puppy to deal with it because you are a whim. Casually peeing next to a snake. <gasps> Did you go potty outside? Did you go potty outside? Yeah. Good morning, people. I was trying to come up with a good nickname to call you and I just couldn't think of one. Hello. I'm really happy to see you again. I do anticipate your return. Trying to start videos when you have zero energy, it's kind of hard. I should probably go get... I haven't even showed you guys Dutch Bros yet. I was about to say I should go get Dutch Bros, but then I remembered, Samantha, you haven't even shared that part of your life with them. I've been really holding back, huh? There's a Dutch Bros probably like 15, 20 minutes away, which might seem like a really far drive to some of you guys. When you grow up in the middle of nowhere, anything under 45 minutes is basically neighbors. I thought Dutch Bros were only in like Arizona. Excuse me, no, that is a false fact. We have a Dutch Bros. So good. So good. Maybe I should go get one. How are you doing? My little check in with you how are you actually because it is nice to have someone to check up on you sometimes it's almost eight in the morning ever since I moved back into the central time zone when I was in Florida I was in the eastern time zone none of this matters but I'm gonna tell you anyway I was in the eastern time zone and now I'm back in the central time zone but I still wake up around the same time that I would wake up in the eastern time zone so every single day I've been waking up between 5 45 and 6 6 Every single day I've been waking up. So every single freaking day, I, so every single day. How many times are I gonna say the same sentence? Oh my God. <laughs> Every single day I wake up between 5.45 and 6 in the morning. What the frick frack kind of frickin' frack 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 is that? What do I have to do at 5.45 in the morning? Nothing. I'm gonna find things to do because if I'm waking up that early every day, I can't just waste the first two or three hours of my existence. Other than that, I've just been living, laughing. Oh, what does that Paris Hilton mean? Live your best life. Sliving always loves it. I've just been sliving, schlaving, schlaving. I feel like I'm waiting around to move into my house. But but some places just don't feel homey. All of the concrete in this Airbnb just feels cold. And it's just, it's really not helping to improve my mood. Knowing that I have this house now and knowing that I'm just waiting to move into it, it's just really been. I've been trying to fill my days up with things. Yesterday was not one of those days. I laid in my bed and on the couch. So I did go up a flight of stairs a couple of times, but I got my period yesterday. What more do you expect from me? She was flowing, cramps were pumping. I did my best. I did take a bath and I sang in the tub for like an hour and a half, which was incredibly therapeutic. I need to do that more. I feel stupid when I pray, so why am I praying anyway? If no I stopped singing for some reason. I've stopped doing so many things that I love for some reason. And by so many things, the only one I can think of is sing. Maybe I don't have that many interests. I also went furniture shopping with Jenica. I think I got one clip from that. I know that you know what I'm talking about because you're swinging your eyes. We're not gonna break this base. You've broken two, three strikes, you're out, dudes, okay? Oh my God, you're so cute. What is that? <laughs> Who's this? My name is Tiki. Also a couple days ago, Samantha came and spent the night with me. She drove on over. I have one clip of us, which I don't really know how to explain to you what happened. Just that you're going to have to watch this clip. I'm pissing! I'm pissing! 
and now I'm alone again, which is fine. I really need to learn to enjoy my own company and my own like presence and just time with me. I mean, I'm never really alone. I have this dog and three cats. Nonetheless, they don't know English. I do just end up talking to myself most of the time and making up conversations. You can see it in their eyes. Like you can see their responses. Do you wanna go? Did Dutch Bros? He couldn't care less. Today I made some plans for myself. I booked one thing. <laughs> I'm going to get a blowout. I have learned that I'm obsessed with getting blowouts, especially having extensions in. It just feels so nice to have somebody else do your hair. What else am I gonna tell myself I'm gonna do today? I'm telling you guys, that way like I have to stick to it. I am gonna clean. I'm gonna go to the store and get some groceries because I don't think you wanna know what I've been eating. I keep making excuses. I keep saying, this is in my house. I'm in an Airbnb. I'm on vacation. I don't need to go to the grocery store. I don't need to cook my own food. And then I sit and wonder why I feel like crap. It's explain that. Eat a vegetable. Put a piece of fruit in your mouth. Oh, here's the thing. Chick-fil-A isn't that bad for you. Everything in moderation though, okay? At some point, I need to put the chicken mini down and pick up a strawberry. Welcome to another day to make life rock. Should I have a country accent now that I live in Tennessee? Last what you make it, so let's make it rock. I'm talking a lot. Something that I realized yesterday, I'm just gonna share my realizations with you as I have them because they're mind-blowing. They are life-changing realizations. I dwell too much on things that make me sad. And I hate change. Change is so hard. Change is good. Hannah Malos taught us that, but change is hard. But I just dwell on it all day, every day. I get it's normal to be like sad. I have to find a way to control that, to contain it to a certain amount of minutes a day. <coughs> A day. That way when I'm going out and I'm doing things, I can be in the moment and enjoy them. So this morning I set a 30 minute timer and I cried. But today I'm gonna try and just not dwell on things that make me sad. Because I've already thought about them today. I gave myself that time and maybe I'll give myself a 30 minutes in the middle of the day and 30 minutes at the end of the day. In between that time, I don't need to be sad. That's our goal for today. And maybe you should try it too. Because I mean, I'm feeling pretty good right now. I'm not crying. I was gonna get ready, but since I started talking to you guys about Dutch bros that's all i can really think about do i have time to go get dutch bros and get back it's 20 minutes away i got time get in loser we're going to dutch bros are you gonna open the door okay i know for a fact you're not supposed to have umbrellas inside bad luck or something which i can't afford I gotta go fast <laughs> That wasn't very fast. <laughs> I just walked with my umbrella to put my trash outside so I could be decent and I didn't even throw away my cup. I gotta have an empty cup holder. What are we gonna listen to? Are you guys ready for that new Jack Harlow song to come out? It comes out on Friday. Oh, it's so good! I'm also ready to get all of the stuff out of my car. My storage unit was full, so everything that didn't fit had to go in my car and things I didn't want to get ruined, like this painting. But I'm ready to be able to use my car again because right now my entire car is full of this stuff and anytime I want to bring Duncan with me, he has to be up here. How do I be nonchalant that I'm filming? Is this an attractive angle of me? You just said forever, now I drive alone fast, you're free. This is the angle we're going with though. I picked the wrong line. Cramps equals Red Bull. But coffee could be nice too, but I can't get coffee because if I get coffee, I'm gonna have to poop and I have to sit in a blowout chair and I don't wanna be having a blowout in the blowout chair. I'm getting a red, white, and blue. You gotta tell me your Dutch Bros order in the comments. Tell me what your favorite thing to get from Dutch Bros is because I'm gonna try a good jabillion new drinks and I'm gonna share them with you. I never thought I would have this experience to be honest. Like I didn't think that having a Dutch Bros was even an option. And here I am sitting in a Dutch Bros drive-through showing you my double chin. Or should I ask her what her favorite one is? I'm trying what I wanna try. We're thinking of ourselves today. We're being selfish today. I'm probably the only person out there that's gonna say, you should be selfish today. Do what you wanna do because you've been spending too much time doing what other people wanna do. The person in front of me is a mom to five kids. Her license plate says so. Her license plate's from Arizona. They probably feel at home. Shout out to your mom and dad for making you. I mean that. A red, white, and blue Rebel Energy Drink. 
Can you see me? I'm sure you can see way too much of me, actually. Hi. Good. How are you? Um, could I get a medium red, white, and blue rebel? Yes. <gasps> yes. <laughs> Duncan. Duncan. Yeah. What's yours? A fin. My mom is a dog named Finn. My Oh my god. <laughs> Perfect. You, you too. Did I do good at socializing? I think I nailed it. I think I nailed that. Samantha, you socialized. Has whole ass camera. Doesn't use it. Uses phone. Behind the scenes. You can't even see what I'm filming. That's bros. Da, 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 da. Woo! I'm definitely pretending like I have energy because right now I am dead. Yeah but I have to fake it until I get this caffeine in my system. I have to like kind of hurry. There was a lot of traffic on the way back. I find myself often wondering what happens when school buses get stuck in traffic? That is my question of the day. How many questions of the day have I asked so far? Like what happens when a school bus is stuck in traffic? Is it okay that you're late to school? Oh, you are shedding. I just pulled that off of him. We're gonna brush you later, okay? Why am I picking his hair off in my car that I know I don't want to vacuum up? Thank you. Oh, yeah. This is ugly, but we're gonna try it. Mm-hmm. Okay, Duncan. Enjoy. Yeah! He is absolutely chomping. I think the white in here is white chocolate, which is an interesting choice. Oh, okay. I have no idea where I'm going. This looks really ugly. This is the definition of don't judge a book by its cover because this tastes quite nice. But I either can't taste the white chocolate because of prosmia or it doesn't taste like white chocolate at all. Duncan is now eating the cup. Hey, honey, I think it's gone. We've entered our Dutch bro era. I'm gonna go. Just got back to the Airbnb. I very much so need to take a piss. Did you wanna tell them how much you love your Red Bull? He didn't have Red Bull. Your pup cup. The all I have is myself at the end of the day. And Duncan. Shouldn't that be enough? I really wanna finish this poop water before I get to that appointment. <sighs> my skin is a mess because I just started my period, which makes sense. Are ready, Dunks? To go back inside. He knows when the keys come out that it's time to go. I got my own Ella, Ella. I'm telling you, I'm a weird person. My ring was backwards. With the umbrella, I sacrifice myself for you. There you go. No, okay. Well, if you're not grateful, I'll use it myself. Staring out the window, reaching for a north star. Waiting just to wake up from this nightmare where you could be right back in my arms. I just got this tripod. Today probably should go down in history as the gloomiest day that Nashville has ever seen. Everyone here is sleeping. All of my animals are sleeping. I want to be sleeping, but I'm not gonna allow that. Mostly because I've been doing nothing. Well, actually I started to mop. I got the rest of my order in from Princess Polly. Look at this dress. It looks real small, okay, I promise you. She's stretchy. Also got these earrings. I bought this stuff with my own money, by the way. I do work with Princess Polly, but this stuff was me, myself, and I. I just cannot. It is gorgeous. I need to do some cleaning, and I need to do some work. Two very boring things, but wanna know what's gonna make it better? A nice, chunky glass of wine with a very fancy ice ball. It does not get better than that. I only like really sweet wines that very closely resemble Welch's grape juice. I'm at the point of the day where I just don't know what to say. I have a personality for two seconds in the morning, and by the time I get to the afternoon, I'm done. I'm done. You don't get to call me a whore. You left me. You chose Addison. I'm all glued back together now. You don't get to call me a whore. And scene. If I could end today right now, I would, but I can't do that. Unfortunately, I'm not the sun, and the world does not revolve around me. Let me show you my mop in my bucket, because that's what I have to entertain you right now. <laughs> Publix was fresh out of buckets. You know, this water does not look good. I mopped like all of this. They didn't have any buckets, so I just bought a trash can. It works the same. And then I got this lovely little mop. That's all you have to do. You can even do it one-handed. I'm trying to talk you up and you're making this really difficult. I'm twisting the pole and it's just doing it. And now you can mop. I've already mopped this section. Go back in the bucket. Now that I taught you how to mop, you can just imagine me doing that to the rest of this place. Don't walk on it. They did provide me with a dishwasher, which is nice. I despise doing dishes. Most of this is just cups. What's in there? Is that a spoon? All I've really used is cups and some silverware. I think I had pizza one night. So some of these are from leftover pizza. I don't 
know why they gross me out so much because I'm the one that dirtied them. How nice of them for providing me with stuff to do the dishes with. Well, it doesn't even work. That's odd. <gasps> well, I put them in there and you witnessed it, Duncan. That doesn't make any sense. I really did try and nobody can tell me otherwise. We just need air. I need to breathe. This Airbnb is kind of at a busy intersection and I see people in their cars right now looking at me like, does she have a camera? Girl, you are never gonna believe it. I'm sitting at the stop sign right now at the corner of I don't even know what and I don't even know what. And there is a girl sitting outside with a giant camera pointed right at her. Uh, who does she think she is? No one's actually doing that. That is something I would have anxiety about though. Even though nobody gives a flying frack. Some days don't have a purpose other than to simply exist. Just take care of yourself and exist. It's that simple. I think I'm in need of another 30 minutes just to be sad. If you're going through anything, maybe test this out. And maybe it doesn't necessarily be like something big and bad has to happen. Maybe you just need 30 minutes just to take to yourself. And it might be called meditating. For me, it's called crying. Like I cry for 30 minutes and this is my first day doing it. But let me tell you, when I was going to Dutch Bros and stuff this morning, that was pretty much right after my 30 minute crying session. And I felt really good. I had energy. I was up. I was popping. I had lots to say. I was like ready to just Slip, slap, slap. Later. It's time to go do what we've been putting off for probably the past month. We're gonna start working out again. Gym fit. These leggings are from Athleta. We got some Converse on. It has a matching sports bra. I'm sexy and I know it. I might as well have a sweatshirt because it's raining. Will there come a day where I consistently work out for more than two months at a time? I hope so. I'd rather fall off a million times and get back on than never do it again because I'm afraid of failing. Now we're ready. I just did a warm up walk. There's no in here so I feel like I can vlog. I can slub slap slub. I just did a warm-up walk. I'm literally dying. This is what happens when you stop working out for a while. You gotta keep going. Arm circles. This is fun. Ah, just like swimming. Just keep swimming. I haven't done arm circles since maybe fifth grade PE. Reverse, reverse. The arm circles hurt. <laughs> I got my head out this sunroof. I'm blasting my favorite tunes. I only got one thing on my mind. You got me stuck on Sunroof 